the common denominator for x, x squared, x, and x squared is x squared. So to get rid of all of our little fractions, we multiply top and bottom of the complex fraction by x squared. x squared times 1 over x is x, and x squared times negative 2 over x squared is negative 2. In the denominator, x squared times 1 is x squared. x squared times negative 12 over x is negative 12x, and x squared times positive 20 over x squared is positive 20. Notice that our denominator factors. So we have x minus 2 over x minus 10 times x minus 2. So our x minus 2's cancel. And remember that when the numerator cancels out entirely, we leave a 1 in the numerator of our answer. So we have 1 over x minus 10.